Hello, my YouTube family. Yes, you see me grinning from ear to ear right about now, right? Yes. I got my car back, people. Got my car back. Not only did I get my car back, but um, the total was $831, and he just cut off the 31 Hey, every little bit helps. You know what I'm saying? So um, I am a very, very happy camper right now. Oh, you have you have no idea how happy I am. Oh, I'm just th thrilled. Thrilled. Okay. So, um, yeah, it was a good day. It was a good day. Um, I still can't find my story, but, uh, and I'm trying desperately to just chug a lug with the one I'm writing, but without the assistance of the one that I'm looking for, it's kind of difficult. But other than that, I am happy, happy. Do you understand what I'm saying? I am happy. Okay. So, um, let's get on with lips of the day, shall we? Cause I don't have a rant. I do have a little bit of a cutie story, but let me do lips of the day first in case those of you who aren't interested could just cut off whenever you, you're done. Okay, so lips of the day. Another Sonia Kashuk. But I'm kind of on the fence with this one because the way the other one that I wore yesterday had staying power, this one tends to fade and rather quickly. And it's the same formulation. It's the same... Um, Satin Lux lip color. It's the exact same formulation. So I don't know. Maybe it's the, um, because it's a combo again. Maybe it's what I'm putting on top that makes it fade. I have no idea. But this one is, again, Sonia Kashuk. And this is the Satin Lux lip color. And this is in the shade Violetta. Mm -hmm. She got one too. Violetta. Don't look nothing like the MAC Violetta, but this is different. And I love this shade. It's a soft, soft berry. It's a soft kind of mulberry shade. It's very nice. Even, I would even go so far as to say a soft mauve. It's a very, very, very nice shade. But I don't know. It just doesn't stay on that long. I guess you could call this mauve. Y'all can call it mauve, right? This is mauve. Or mauve. I don't know how you pronounce it. I say mauve. So that's that. And what I put on top was the other side of the Stilla Lip Glaze that I wore yesterday. Yesterday, I wore this side. Today, I wore this side. And this side is called Violet on top of Violetta. So let me do a swatch for you on this one which is like really, really lighter than the actual lip color. So it lightens it just a bit. That is violet. They look pink, personally. They look pink. But that is what's considered violet, which is this shade right here. Stilla Lip Glaze in violet. This was black cherry from yesterday, and this is violet today. So I think I use this rather well, and I've used my Sonia Kashuk rather well. And the lip liner is NYX in Prune. Prune. 834 Prune. So there you have it, people. There you have it. That is lips of the day. Okay. So those of you who are interested in cutie, sit down. It's not going to be a long story. I'm not going to just ramble on. It's just another one of those kind of catch your breath kind of moments. Mm hmm Okay. So, um, he and I are talking. And um, we're talking about school. And I'm very proud of him for going to school. And you know what? He impresses me. He knows a lot more than he lets on. Because we were talking about movies. We were talking about movies. And we were talking about war movies for some reason. And because something was on the television and it had a lot to do with war and we were talking about war movies and this, this and the other. And movies that we saw that ha that I've seen and maybe that he's seen. And um, I I asked him, has, has he ever seen the movie The Count of Monte Cristo? So he said, yeah. And I said, well, you don't, you probably don't know the version 
I'm talking about. The one I'm talking about is with Richard Chamberlain. He wouldn't even know who Richard Chamberlain is. But the one he saw was the version with James Caviezel. I think that's the actor's name. He plays in um, the series, um, damn, Perfect Match or something perfect or something like that. Personal Interest, that's the name of the series, that this actor is starring in. So I was doing a lot of Googling and showing him, you know, well, is this the, ver the version you saw? Is this the version? He goes, yeah, that's the version I saw. I said, yeah, but you didn't see the original. The original is with Richard Chamberlain. It's really, really good. And then he goes, well, wait a minute. There's another one. And I said, well, there's the Count of Monte Cristo. And there's also the Man in the Iron Mask. And they were both written. They were both books at first written by um, Alexander Dumas. So he goes, they were books? I said, yeah, big, thick ass books, too. Because, I mean, you know, Alexander, he was not light with the pen. So he goes, did you read the books? I said, oh, hell no. Just give me the movie version. My mom read the books. So she's the one that told me about the story. And then when the story came on television, which is the Richard Chamberlain version, she sat me down and I watched it. Thank, thank you, God, for my mother. She is the one that opened my mind and opened my vision to film noir, to black and white movies that this generation, when you say a black and white movie, they're like, I don't want to watch a black and white movie. Um, yeah, you kind of are missing out on a whole genre of movies that you just are too close-minded close to understand. Well, anyway, I guess that was a little bit of a rant. So, um, he started talking about, you know, both of them. He started talking about, oh, well, yeah, isn't it the movie about so-and-so and such-and-such? -and, -such and, -such? and I'm listening to him, and I'm like, you know these stories. And he goes, uh, yeah. And I go, well, I didn't know that you knew the stories. He goes, well, I saw the movie. I'm like, well, okay. So I was very impressed because I really didn't think it was his type of movie that he would want to see. I'm telling you, it, with him, it's like peeling an onion layer by layer. You're just learning something new. So we were talking about that, that, and the other. And then he started to talk about the a book that he had to buy for his class. And he goes, yeah, and I had to, spend, I had to fork out $100 for it. And I was like, what? Are you kidding me? And he goes, yeah. And so I was already on Amazon on my computer. So I said, what's the name of this book? You could have gotten it for a hell of a lot cheaper. But he couldn't remember the name of the book. He said, it's something mosaic. It's got the word mosaic in it. So I did all mosaic and the book never came up. So he goes, you know what? I'm really curious to find out how much I really could have, could have spent on this book. I'm going to go downstairs because I have it with me. I said, oh, okay. So he went downstairs. And I'm thinking he's going to come back upstairs with the book. The phone rings and I see his name on the, on the phone. And, you know, I said, hello. And he's like, okay, so this is the name of the book. But I looked at the phone and I was like, his voice sounds so different on the phone than in person. I mean, it's a little deeper and I know he's not making it deeper. It's just the phone. It's his phone voice. I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> so I, you know, I wanted to keep him on the phone forever, right? So he's like, this is the name of the book. And this is the author of the book. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I said, oh, I found it. And he goes, it's $100, right? And I go, well, um, no, they're selling it for 86 something. He goes, really? And I go, well, if you wanted a used copy, you could have gotten a used copy for six. He goes, you realize you didn't have to tell me that, right? And the tone that the, the voice when he dropped it, my heart went, hoofa. I was like, Oh, wow. And so I, I, I went further because I wanted to keep talking to him. So I said, well, you know, you could have gotten a brand new one for um, only $26, right? He goes, and I didn't want to know that either. So I'm cracking up and he's cracking up on the other end. And he goes, okay, I'll, I'll see you in a few. And, and then he hung up. But I looked at the phone like a whole minute <laughs> after he hung up the phone. And I was like, wow. So that's what it would be like to talk to him on the phone. Carrying a torch for a hopeless situation. So that was my, that was my little story. But I also wanted to fill you in on um, an empty, a one pan, or whatever the hell y'all want to call it. I have finally finished this piece of crap. A new, it's an Avon, a new reversalist. 
I think that was the name of it, Reversalist. It was the cleanser that I used to wash my face with after work, you know, after I do actually lips of the day. And it was like a cream cleanser. I didn't want to toss it because I, I only had like about this much left. So I finally finished it. And I'm so glad I finished it because it really... I like the smoothness when it went on my face, but it kind of left my face. As soon as I dried my face, you know, patted my face down, automatically the moisture started sucking away. And I had to immediately put a moisturizer on. So, um, goodbye. Now, I'm using this. You can't hear anything because the soap is already in, in the bathroom. But this is the one I'm using now, Nivea Cream Soft. This comes from Germany. Because you can't understand jack crap of the language that's going on over here. All in German, people. So, this is the one I'm using right now. Nivea Cream Soft. And it's not a milk bar. I thought it was a milk bar, but it's not a milk bar. It's just cream. So, I don't know what kind of cream because everything is in German. But it's obviously cream soap. So, there you have it. Oh, cream soap with rich almond oil smells very oh god it smells so good and i only i got this at um amazon it was like a buck 99 or 2.99 or something and it's still there because i checked so if you guys want to hop on it it's only 2.99 and you know nivea you can't go wrong with nivea you all know my history with nivea right if you don't seek previous video in the name of i'm a sucker for advertising you will understand my plight with Nivea. But I am using the Nivea Cream Soft Bar Soap to wash my face and I started to use it um, yesterday. Very, very good. Keeps the moisture in. As a matter of fact, I, I can go like a whole, a whole hour without putting any moisturizer on my face before I start to feel a little taut and tightness. But it's very, very good. It smells awesome. Rinses off nice and clean. Love it. So this is going to last me a couple of months because look at the, I mean, it's really thick. So it's a small, it's a small soap, but it's a thick soap. So it'll last me a good long time, at least until the end of October, November, somewhere around there. So we shall see. But this is the soap I'm using now. So that's basically it in a nutshell, people. That's all I have to tell you. Um, I'm a very, 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 very happy camper right now. Um, <laughs> very happy, very poor. But i um, happy that I'm back on the road. I don't have to bother my father anymore. He's the one that came and picked me up. I did not have to do a taxi situation, people. He came and picked me up at work. He dropped me off this morning, came and picked me up later this afternoon at 530 and was waiting for me. He was right there. I came out the building and there he was. I love my father so much. Drove me to the um, auto shop, picked up my car and even he came he came down he, he said oh i'll wait in the car for you and then when everything is settled you know i'll just go on my way don't you know a father will always be a father a very protective father no sooner am i paying the man here he comes i'm nancy's father i was like oh lord jesus everybody think i mean i am in my late 40s and here he come i'm nancy's father i was like well he's still protective of me i love it so the guy, I don't want to mention any names, my auto mechanic and him just, you know, like I'm not even standing there and they're talking about me and well, you know, she's very good and she's a very wonderful girl and she brings her car in, you know, religiously and I was like, um, hello, <laughs> I'm standing right here, people. And he goes, well, you know, my father's like, oh, well, you know, I make sure that she's on top of things with her car and, you know, and then he started talking about, well, you know. What do you think is the good time for her to buy a new car? And I was like, um, Pop, I'm in no... He goes, eh. I was like, wow, okay. So, you know, they started talking about, well, you know, the, if she keeps the car running and, and keeps it in good condition, she could go for another 20 miles or another 20 years or whoever, another 10 years or whatever. But with cars, it's very, you know, it's, they're very fickle because she's had the car for 10 years, which is true. And, um... You know, they were going on and on and on and on. And, and and finally, I'm like, well, don't you have to get to work, Pop? He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, thank you. I'm, I'm glad to meet you. And, and you know, you, you have a very nice daughter. I was like, huh? <laughs> it's like, oh, well, thank you. Thank you. So he went on his way and then he went to work. And then 
And the good thing about his job is that he's literally like 10 minutes away from the auto shop. So he just went to work and I drove home and I am a happy, happy, happy camp. I was grinning all the way home. I was like, I got my car. I'm driving my baby, talking to the car. And so that's it. So I'm a very, very happy camper now, people. Okay. Very happy. Happy about my lips, even though it's not, doesn't stay on that long. But I am happy with the shade. It goes very nicely with gray, I might say. You know this has to be done, right? Well, God only knows when, because this week ain't pay week again. So, by the time the woman who see, who does my hair, the time she sees me, she's going to think that I just like totally found somebody else to do my hair. Because I haven't gone there in a while. I'm just saying. Okay, people. This is it. This is lips of the day. That was my entire day. That's the whole story of the day. And uh, this is the soap I'm using right now, just in case anybody's interested, which I'm going to wash my face with right this second. And uh, I will talk to you tomorrow. Hit me up and let me know what you think. Very soft lipstick. I'm telling you, this Sonia Kashuk is a very soft, smooth lipstick. But for this particular reason, this shade, Violetta, doesn't last that long unless it's the topper that I used it could it could be still a that's that's pulling it away I'm not really sure but the formulation of this Sonia Kashuk lipstick awesome love it and on that note I love you I love my YouTube family let me know what you think and hit me up and I will talk to you tomorrow bye now